Interns, welcome to your new job at Futurist Geohazards Engineering Division. I'm Hannah, and I'll be your project director. Earthquakes and tsunamis can strike with little to no clue that they are going to happen. Our project will be to work on providing a better warning system for tsunamis. A tsunami is a rare, large ocean wave that is caused by an earthquake under the ocean. The sudden shift of the seafloor creates a wave that moves away from the site of the earthquake and picks up speed as it goes. Tsunamis aren't like surfing waves. They're more like fast moving floods that can be very destructive. When a tsunami hits land, it covers the area near the coast in seawater and sweeps away everything in its path. In 2004, regions near the Indian Ocean experienced the deadliest natural disaster in modern human history a large tsunami that killed over 200,000 people and resulted in billions of dollars in damage. The countries around the Indian Ocean installed a tsunami warning system after that devastating event, but we want to help improve and update it. There's no way to prevent tsunamis, but sensors installed around the region can warn people when a tsunami is coming. A tsunami warning system uses different types of sensors that collect data about earthquakes and changes in the ocean. Some are installed in the ocean and others are installed on land. When earthquake sensors detect an earthquake, it might not mean there's a tsunami coming. So scientists use ocean sensors to look for additional data and, if needed, can send a warning to people to give them time to get somewhere safe before the wave arrives on land. The World Ocean Administration, or WOA, has asked Futura to submit proposals for an improved tsunami warning system that's accurate and will help save lives. For our project, we'll focus on warning the country of Sri Lanka, one of the countries hardest hit by the 2004 tsunami. Other intern groups are working to consider additional locations in the area. Your job as engineering interns is to figure out which sensor types to use and where to place them. You should consider a few criteria as you think about your design. Your warning system should maximize average warning time. The longer the warning time, the more time people have to evacuate. Minimize false alarms. False alarms cost money and make people less likely to believe the system next time. And keep costs low. There are initial costs to install the sensors and then regular repair and maintenance costs for the years that follow. All that money will be taken from funds normally used for schools, roads, and bridges. So try to design a system that doesn't cost too much. I assigned you an internship coordinator to help you out. Together, we will give you information and tasks to help you learn about tsunamis and warning systems. Good luck. I look forward to working with you on this project.